A little bit of lift here, not too much. A little windswept action on the ears. The face of justice, the hair of justice. Hair history, where we talk about the amazing hair of people in history. Interesting photograph here, one of my favorites. This label tells us this is an amber type from 18, 57. That's actually wrong. Really, it's 1858. It's right before his famous House Divided speech. He's already got the nomination to run against Stephen Douglas, who we will talk about because his hair is amazing. He's got a little bit of lift going on. It's a little too long here to lay flat, but also not long enough to go behind the ears. This is often called the borrowed coat photograph. So Lincoln shows up for this photo and the photographer, Samuel Al Schuler, doesn't like his coat, thinks it's not appropriate. So he gives him his own coat. It's too small. And apparently Lincoln was overcome with merriment when the short coat proved to be a bad misfit. That is classic Lincoln. It's actually the photo used in one of the greatest meme conspiracies of the Civil War era, which is that Lincoln and Davis were actually the same person. Somebody on the internet made it up, but they used this picture. So they kind of look alike, right? Obviously they're not the same person, or are they? This photo is not long after, May 7th, 1858. Again, before Lincoln's famous house divided speech. A little bit of lift here, not too much. A little windswept action behind the ears. We've got this great hairline, the just the valley on the other side forming that widow's peak. Whenever Lincoln is in court, he seems to be looking just real groomed, right? Lincoln is defending this guy, Duff Armstrong, from a murder at midnight, which I guess was a thing. And he produced an almanac showing that this witness could not have seen his client, Armstrong, kill this person because there was no moonlight. The face of justice, the hair of justice and future American justice. Also pretty cool, this photograph has some damage you can see right here. And thanks to these serious photo nerds at the Chicago Albumen Works, they borrowed this photograph from the University of Nebraska and they went to work fixing it. As a nerd, I understand the joy happening here. They've never been happier. This is the best day of their work life ever. They took it out of its you know, special case. Um, they're looking at the straight up plate, the amber type. They took this apart. They did some really crazy digital cleanup. Without people like this, we would not be able to see Lincoln's hair. Here's the before and after. You can see there was this blotching area right here around his face and off his shoulder. And they touched it up, really cool. They took some of that away, got some of this gone. And look, they left the hair so we can enjoy it. Look at that. I mean, that is, it's incredible. Hair history where we talk about the amazing hair of people in history. Not to be confused with hair history.